No, three persons in one. I agree with you. Isaiah, same. Yes. Isaac, Jacob, all of them same. Jeremiah, same. Correct. Prophet Muhammad, we believe same. Prophet God to be one, no, three in one. So now you tell me Christians, God to be three in one. So are you it's telling true. me Christians? When it comes to Judaism, we agree with you. Yeah. 100%. So how can God come from female private part? And the Bible says that in, in Old Testament, not New Testament. Old Testament, it says a man, no man can become clean if he comes up from female private part, from woman. So, so now what I'm asking is, if Jesus is God and we know he came up from his mom uh, private part, and the Bible says God cannot be, God is clean, is not unclean. I don't know what the argument is on the female private part. No, in, in Judaism, in, in no, Judaism we believe that the woman yeah. is very high up. She's, she's complete, she's perfect. Yeah, I know. We don't believe the woman to be any sort of derogatory. That's why in Judaism there are 613 laws. Yeah. Only three of them apply to women. Uh -huh. The rest? The rest are all just for men. Okay. Why? Because the woman is a. Why? Because they said all Jewish, most Jewish deeds yeah. are tied down to a timing, you know? Yeah. Like Muslims pray five times a day, yeah. we pray three times a day. Uh -huh. uh, Muslims have a certain marriage yeah. um, sequence where you have to give over something of worth. It's a bit closer it's to Judaism. It's very close. It's, yeah, it's very close. Even Old Testament is I about Quran. Say, I would even say have it's you more the Quran? Thing. I haven't learned the Quran. I unfortunately If you read the Quran, it's very similar to yes. Old Testament Tanakh. That makes sense. I, I heard that before. Yes, right. it's very similar. Now, with, with the Jewish law, when it comes to female private I don't know. But what I can no, tell you is, no, the, it doesn't make sense not, that God would come down into a human form. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is, do you know, when you say God came out from female private part, that's blasphemy to God. The Christians... I don't blasphemy, Yeah, no, it's no, it's a blasphemy. Okay, because how can, tell, how, can how can you tell, how can you tell God born came from his mom? Yeah, so we believe that... that is that God, not blasphemy? There's one thing about God is there's infinity. Uh, but no one person can yeah. God is not a person, God is not tied down to any sort of one being. God is something which is infinite. Everything has a life of God. If you look at the trees, yeah. everything's a part of life. If you look at the way the grass grows, the way yeah. the animals it, everything is basically the infinity of God. Yeah. Infinity of infinity of God. Life. But you agree with me that yeah, yeah, God no, cannot no, we, we come with, out yeah. from female private no, part. Because we, Jesus born if you say Jesus is I God, what, I agree with you. Yeah. I just don't agree the way you're saying it. Blasphemy. No, no. I because because I don't I, I don't enjoy saying that God created something yeah. and then it's unholy if it comes from it. It's but like it, the Bible. It, it's Tanaki not like it says that. Come from it he but it. How says can he that. come from something that he created? It's also a different question. No, I'm saying that's Tanakh. It says that in yeah, Job. True. I can give you the verse. Go on. Go on. Then if you open Job chapter twenty chapter twenty five verse four. Can you open Which for me book? that verse? Tanakh, Job, Ayub. You call Ayub, prophecies? yes? Which Ayub, prophecies? Prophecies or scriptures? Ayub. And a prophecy. And scriptures. Scriptures? Yeah. To uh, Which chapter? Then 25, 4. Found it? I can't find it yet. No, it's sorry, it's job 15 4, not 25. Jobs? Yeah, here. Yeah. Job Which one is 15 job? 4. Avoid them. Avoid them. Job. It's Avoid Ayub, them. I think you call Ayub. We say Ayub. Ayub. We say Ayub. I don't know what you say Ayub. in Judaism. Ayub. Ayub. Ah. Ayub, yes, Ayub. We say Ayub. Ayub, Ayub. Same yeah. Much, it's 15 4, yeah? Chapter 15 4. Chapter 15 4. Uh, Oh, even the other one it says the same. Twenty-five four is the same. You say read, read what you says and then I find mine. Yeah, same. I found two verses. Even chapter twenty-five verse four and chapter fifteen also. It says, "How then can a mortal be righteous before God? How can one born of a woman be pure?" So if we say Jesus is God, and He ah, born, yeah. So if we say Jesus it's is God, saying, yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. If it's we very, say, very yeah. So, why? Why? Why is it like that? Yeah, if, if we say Jesus is born from a woman and he's God and he's born from a woman, 
that means Jesus, which is God, is unclean. Because it says here, a man who is born from a woman is, can never be un unclean. So which basically, in, another word, in other words, is like me saying, Jesus is God and he's unclean. Why? Because he born from a woman. So, so I have one for you. In Judaism, the reason yeah. why we say that, and it says well, both verses, something, not just something you have to learn. Something chapter twenty-five, verse religion, four. We all know. And chapter fifteen, verse fourteen. Deep down, we know in religion. Don't take yeah. every word literally for what it means. We already know that, you know. Yeah. It's it's metaphorically. Now, what is it? What's another metaphor for it? Because when a woman gives birth, she is playing with life and death. Yeah. And death, as we know, is is not. It's impure. You know, life is pure, death is impure. Yeah. If you, in Judaism, if we find something that is impure, we touch something that is impure, that is dead, we then have to go through a cleansing process called the mikvah. Yeah. We go into a big bath of water, yeah. which is uh, made up of rainwater as well, uh -huh. and we purify ourselves. So when a woman, when she gives birth, she's playing between life and death. Because yeah. she has the possibility of dying as well, yeah. as much as a baby has the possibility of dying, yeah. never mind that they're going to live through as well, both of them. So what happens is, because she plays with this death, she almost has to kill a part of the baby inside her yeah. in order for it to live on its own. Yeah. So that death that happens is impurity. And therefore, if that is impure, how can you be pure if you come from, from death? No, what I'm saying... And that, no, it's the same thing what you're saying. It's yeah. coming from death. It's coming from impurity. Death is impure. No, but the verse is not talking about death. No, this, this is a deep meaning. No, this deep meaning, no, no. That's what you think. But also, I have seen rabbis, Jewish scholars, saying the same as what I'm saying. So I think you don't know more than, than your rabbis. Yes? I don't know more than your rabbis. So, no. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not a so rabbi that's yet. what rabbis is saying. God cannot be unclean. It's true. God always is clean. It's true. So the verse is tell, tell, tells us any man who is born from a woman is unclean. Can we, can we talk one second about the, the Shema, the, the main Pasuk in, in Judaism, Shema Yisrael, Shema Keno, Shema Chad. It says that, that God is one. Yeah. God is one. There's no exceptions. There's nothing, nothing outside of God. The yeah. entire creation and everything before and after is all God. Yeah. Right. So including, including everything is God. So you you think everything is God? Everything is God. Everything is God. So so what's your definition by uh, God, by the word of God, the the meaning of the word itself, God? Which word? Because it has many meanings. God, many God, 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 just God. The English word. English I don't know. Words, English I don't know. <laughs> so what's your definition of uh, God, God in, in Hebrew? Well, there's a few different names. There's a few. There's no, one I'm not talking about the names. So the main the one. The definition of God. One. Oneness. Oneness. Achtut. Oneness. 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 If you want to talk about the general name, it's one. It's, it's, it's How do you say God in Shalem. Hebrew? Shalem. 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 Elohim. Elohim is another word. Elohim, Elohim is another yes. name for God. El Shaddai. That, that is the name of judgment. El Shaddai. Oh, El Shaddai. El I had El Shaddai. El Shaddai. No, you, I had that name. We don't, we don't say it. Uh, Who says that? We don't that? say no. the full word. We, we don't say the full word. So we change the letters. Same word. Oh, so we okay. say Shakai oh, because we don't say oh, a word. You say without, El Shaddai. No, no. Yeah. What you said, what yeah. you said is correct. Oh, okay. But because I'm not saying it in prayer, oh, okay. I can't say the full proper word. So I say Shakai instead. Okay? So oh, when I say Shakai, okay. I mean what you said with the D. Oh, okay. So, so what? what so what is the definition of God? So that if if you are saying everything can be God, so is, I think we got different. Can be. Everything is no it's question, infinity. no exception. The entire creation from beginning to end, also before, also after, all God. So, okay. So when you saying everything is God, that does that mean when you're worshiping, you also worship the tree? No, 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 no. no. Because, because you believe no, everything no, is God. No, no, no. This is we worship God. No tree. But you said everything is God. No tree, the fact that no life, tree. hold on, the life that comes through. Well, if you look at a tree, let's say, for example, yeah. the tree is burst from the other in years and years, a, a fork and branch. Yeah. I just met you. Now, that is a godly presence. When the world was created, we, we learned that everything that happened, its creation. I met you. The yeah. fact that, that I met you is something that happened. God is in all of creation. When the world was created, you see... When the world was created, yeah, we all decided that I will meet made you. Up of God. Yeah. So yeah, no, the light. no separation. No separation. We can say Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum. Oh, it's the same as Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum Salam. Yeah. So what, what I'm saying is. My, my family is there, my you guys are brothers from the mother. So the thing is about God yeah. is the infinity. We have a big thing of that God is everything throughout the day, anything that happens, not that everything is God, everything is a past. God has been spread out. We believe as people, every single person here yeah. has a soul. Every single person has a piece of that God inside of him. God, so God spread out through everything. There's a, that infinity, that, that's why we're all one. That's why every human on mankind is all one. We all have one mission. All, that's the whole thing of that uh, God lives on. Yeah, God is but constant. In Islam, the way we de define the word God, Allah, 
you say Allah, anyways, you know Allah. So Allah, we say the tree is not Allah. Not everything is Allah. We only believe Allah is Allah, the one who created. Yes, Allah is creation. But we believe we all belong to Allah. But we don't say the tree is God. As you said, everything you believe is God. No, everything has a everything has been created by God. Everything has a form of life. Like that tree has a form of life. Every yes. animal has a form of life. We, we have something called klipa. Klipa is the skin. It's a coating. It's like um, klipa is the same word. The orange peel, the peel that comes off the orange, is the same word. It's called it's called klipa. Klipa of the orange. So so uh, um, the, there's things in the world that are klipa. Yeah. For example, things that are haram is, is made up of klipa. But the klipa itself is also is also even though we don't touch it, we don't, don't touch it. It's also directly from God. And we talk about in, in the times of of, of Mashiach Masah that that we'll we'll see that the, the klipa will see clearly the the, 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 the the connections between God. Right now, it's very hard to see things that are haram is directly from God. Yeah. It's very hard to see. We we, we we walk down the street, we see something that's haram and it's, it, it hurts. And it hurts uh, and can I ask you? Um, you know, as I believe in in Judaism, they don't believe Jesus. Yes. We believe in his existence. We don't believe how the Christians believe in his divinity. So you don't believe Jesus to be Messiah? No. Yeah. No, he's not Messiah. To us, no. To the so who is the Messiah? Could it be? We don't have an official person, but what we do believe is Messiah. No, you believe the Messiah is going to appear. We believe in a Messiah, yeah. In As fact, Muslims believe. In fact, we also believe more than that. We believe the Messiah is coming before the year 6000. Okay? Uh, the before Jewish, the year 6000? Before the year 6000. God created the world in seven days. Okay. Yeah? And six days and the seventh day he rested. Right? Okay. So, and they also say that for God, a thousand years is almost like one day. We can't tell what time it is. So we say that God is going to bring them aside before 6,000 years, and then for the last thousand years is going to be the rest of the world. You know, it will be utopia. So basically, he rested the seventh day. So the seventh day he rested, the 7,000th year will so be what, the ultimate what, utopia what of the world. Mean, what do you mean by saying God rested? Do you think God is like us? He can tired. He can get tired. No, 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 no not can get tired. There's so why would you say God rested? That means who rest? God Someone tired. Said, God himself, he didn't say he's tired. But you rest, oh, you only rest I, when you're tired. So like we have the Sabbath. On, on yes. the so when we on the Sabbath, I don't see it as a day of rest. I see it as a day of, of recharge. Yeah. You know, because it's very nice and proper for someone to work seven days a week, but they're gonna they're gonna wear out eventually. But how can you compare God and His creation? Because God created us from Him. I know, but God, according to the Tanakh, yeah. in the book of Isaiah, yeah. it says none is like Him. Right, but we, we come from him. No, I know none is like him, which means God is not like his creature, his creation. So when I said he rested, I didn't say he's tired, just said he rested. Yeah, because you can only rest, the word rest is only when you're tired. No. Otherwise, if I'm not tired, why would I rest for? Do you sleep every night? But what, uh, that's you because I'm tired, night? because I'm tired. Do you sleep every night? Yeah, I'm tired. But maybe you didn't do so much work yesterday and you do a lot of no, work today. No, but still you sleep. Still you sleep. What happens if you don't sleep? Then your body go, your body starts ruining. So you're saying God becomes like that if He doesn't rest? No, I, what I'm saying is that God uh, had to create us from Himself. We are but from we the Muslims, divinity. We Muslims believe God cannot get tired. In we the Quran, get tired. no, I'm saying in the Quran, yeah. Allah said He never rested even after He created the world. How, can you the heaven and earth. I don't know the way the Muslims. Yeah, believe. we Muslims believe everything, everything that can if cause. What was the what was the stages of creation? The stages of creation is the same, six days. And the seventh day? Seventh day, no, you never rested. It doesn't say that. What does it say on the seventh day? No, it doesn't tell us what God did. It just did says six days. days. Yeah. Okay. Six days. But there's no. Allah told us in the Quran, He never rested after completing the creation of heaven and earth. So He never rested? Yes, because resting, the word resting, opposite of rest is tired. You can say that in one way. No. I agree with you in yeah. one way. Because the unless way, if I'm not tired, how can you sleep? How can you rest if you're not tired? Well, that means you're active. That means you're the, active. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, rest doesn't mean you're tired. Rest means I need to recharge for the next six days. But so you tell me, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, recharge it, means. Yeah, that I, means I don't the same. see it as resting because technically I know personally. Because you tell me God myself, recharged himself. Myself, I know I can work nine days, but if I work ten days, I'm going to be gone. Do you know we be Muslims believe Go God does not rest anything. And which is negative, which is described to humans, we cannot describe to God. So like you, example, so go example now, God, Allah, we believe, He does not eat. He does not produce children. He does not have parents. 
he does not sleep, not take a nap, he does not rest. But you say in your book says God rested. So rest, that means you saying you rest to recharge. Okay, let's say you recharge yourself. So you saying God recharged himself. We believe whatever God does. He created a physical world. I think that word is a bit um, it's a, it's a bit, it's a bit harsh to God. I, I, I agree to myself that the word is a bit understood because rest doesn't mean tired. But yeah. you rest, you How say, to recharge yourself. How can I say that God gets tired? I, I, it's but impossible. by resting, you get tired. I agree Otherwise, with you. you cannot rest. I agree with you. God and you rests. recharge yourself. You're saying God is like human. We're not saying God's like human. I'm saying Why would you in recharge order for yourself? the human to exist comes from God. And so in order for rest to exist for us, God had to create it for himself because if we come from him, if we come from that, yeah. how are we going to rest? We're humans. We need to rest. But God is not like human. Do you know what correct. God said? Correct. Do you know in, correct, correct. Do you know Tanakh what it says? I don't know all of Tanakh. No, I can give you Tanakh. Again. It says in Numbers, yeah. chapter 23, verse 19, even in Hosea, chapter 11, verse 9, it says, God said, I'm not a man. I'm not human. Correct. That means you cannot describe God same as human. He has to right. be different order, than his in creations. In order for God to create rest, yeah. he had to make it exist within himself. No, if Before you say God give, rested, you, then God, God that means... God wouldn't create a tree if trees never existed. How can God create something which was never even no, but a what, thing? How what I'm talking about... A knowledge that there was a tree, and then God created a tree. So what he had to do is he had to bring down the knowledge into this world but what I'm to talking, make it exist. But what I'm talking about... In Islam, we don't say God rested or recharged himself. Does, that, that is, according to Islam, is blasphemy in Islam. So we don't see it as blasphemy. We see it as, a, you, okay. see it as an element so, of creation. So that means if you accept... He created rest. In rest okay. he had to create no, he created, rest. but he cannot rest God. Because he's all powerful. We also believe that do you God, believe is, God is all powerful. We also believe that God is recreating the world every second. No, do you believe every God is all powerful? Because without God, the world will cease to exist. Okay, do you believe God is all powerful? Correct. If all, I believe if God, all is God, not okay. just all powerful. Anything okay. that you see in the world is God. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, in Islam, everything is which is positive, all uniques are for God. So what about the negatives? God does not have negative. He doesn't have negative. No. This is the beauty of it. God is unlimited. Yes. If you are limited, no. how can you be limited so, by only no. positive? What, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if you say God rested and recharged himself, basically you are trying to put similarity between God and his creations. But we Muslims don't do that. Okay, for the, uh, for the sake of argument, let's say for the sake of the discussion, so then these Christians would say, if you accept God rested same as humans, then why would you reject God becoming a man? That would be, that what that is that's what they're going to say. Yes, that's I, a good I, argument. I, argument. I, I don't I don't think it's a good argument. Personally. No, it's a good argument. I think if you, you I are think saying you're comparing apples to oranges. No, because bit, you're doing the same. I'm you're not, comparing God and I'm his not, mankind. I'm not saying God's his rest, I said God had to create rest, and not to create rest. He had but to you said God rested. Rest. That's what the Bible yes, says that's in what Psalm. The Bible says. In Psalm chapter four. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, in Psalm David, the book of David. First day he created light and dark. Second day he created. Remind me. Um, second day he created light and dark, second day was the, the this heavens. Bereshit no, no, Baal, mountains. Kibbet, no, we believe he created the heavens and the earth. No, we believe day. the last thing he created, Allah, he created was Adam. Correct. We believe he created Correct. on Friday. Correct. Saturday he created just a clay. Before, Saturday he, cre he created clay. Sunday he created mountains, I think. And then third day and trees. Fourth day and light and light and Tuesday he created the and sea life. No, he created the this what we dislike, Makru, we so we call it Makru. What we dislike. And the fifth day he created light. The fifth no. So by us we created the heavens and the earth, first day. Yeah. Second day was light and dark. Yeah, I know. You say the, was the, the fourth, trees and you the say vegetation. the fourth day light. Fourth day was yeah, the, the ocean light. and the sea the light. The fifth day is light. Fifth, no, second day is light, or the first, second day is light. No, second day, sun, I mean, sorry, fifth day is sun. Sun and moon was, came with fourth, like, yeah. I think fourth or fifth, world, it says fourth or fifth. With the creation of the actual world itself. Yeah. And then it says on the sixth, on the fifth day, he created animals. Uh -huh. And on the sixth day, he created... Yeah, sixth day, we also say that, animals. sixth day. Now, on the seventh day, in order to introduce this idea into the world of rest, yeah. God had to rest himself to create it. That's part of the creation, is that God rested. And then we come down in human and say, listen, if God rested, that means we have to rest. And that is the Sabbath that we have on no, the seventh no, day. No, what I'm saying, we cannot put similarity, I mean likeness, between God and his creation. In Islam, we believe whatever humans do, God doesn't do. 
All negative things. All negative. So we believe Allah does not have negative. Whatever he does, does Allah not... Allah doesn't have negative. No, the, the whatever... The negative had to be created by Allah. Okay, it doesn't matter. But what I'm saying, so no, himself... negative comes from God himself. No, himself, I'm saying, whatever we describe ourselves, yeah. which is negative, has got nothing to do with God. Like say now, example, humans use toilet, eat food, sleep. Do you believe God sleeps? I believe God has a part of him that has the ability to comprehend sleep in a spiritual manner. I don't think he sleeps physically like we sleep. No, obviously not. He's got it. He's got it. But he has, sleep comes from him. Sleep is him. Okay. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, no. So that's, up, that's my perspective. No, no, what I'm saying, just to think about that, and as I said already before, Allah, whatever he gives out, that nothing can reduce his kingdom. Whatever God gives out. Prophet told us whatever God gives out, whether it's kingdom, money, health, whatever, that does not increase the kingdom of God. The only difference is he says he's come from God. When he says it, it's when he says he's come. So, what I'm saying... Are you a Messianic Jew? Messianic Jew. I believe in a Messiah. I don't think I believe in this. But he doesn't believe the Messiah. Jesus is not Messiah. He doesn't believe. No, he doesn't believe that. I did ask him. Yeah, I did ask him. So now I'm asking what I'm saying. What do you believe about Prophet Muhammad? What do I believe about Prophet Muhammad? Yes. Very touching. No, do you believe, I believe him to be a prophet? According to Jewish law, I believe that he might have had some sort of spiritual power and spiritual connection. Uh -huh. But he is not a prophet amongst the Jewish scriptures. But you believe he's a prophet. Some Jews believe, I believe rabbis he I was believe, a prophet. I believe in non-Jewish prophets as well. Yeah, he was sent to them Jews. But I don't believe that he, he is. He was sent to Jews. So you don't believe, believe that? Yeah, I know. But you believe he's a prophet, not to, but I, to Gentiles. So I believe he's a prophet. Prophet is a debatable word. I believe he had connections to God and spiritual power above the average human being. Okay, so now I'm asking. Yeah. You know in Islam, we believe Prophet Muhammad he was an illiterate. Okay. Illiterate, you know the meaning, yes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, illiterate, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know in Isaiah, do you believe your rabbis or your Tanakh first? What comes first? Tanakh or rabbis? So, Torah in Judaism has yeah. two parts. Yeah. The written law yes. and the oral law. Yes. Now, the written law is the Tanakh. It's Tanakh. The written. Yes, that's what I'm asking now. now so, which no, one comes first? Law. There's, a, there's no first. Okay. There's a written law called the Tanakh. Okay. And the Torah. Yes. Then there's the oral law, what the rabbis teach us. Yes. Now there's a law in in the Torah that says you should make yourself, you should, you should appoint yourself a rabbi. Yeah. And you should go according to his word. And we believe one above that, that even the rabbi's word can dictate the law of the Torah itself. Can 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 he? It, it can't go against. Yes. But what it can do is that it can. Because the Torah is written in a way where we can't take absolutely everything literally for what it says, uh -huh. so we have to have a rabbi to have to explain it. Okay. So we have to have a rabbi who's able to explain yeah. it to you. Yeah. So in order for him to explain it, it means you have to have the oral law. Yeah. So the oral law can dictate. So 